Hey guys, it's me again. So I got to thinking like usually when some of us are drinking, we like to pick on ourselves and then we wake up hating and shaming ourselves when really that doesn't solve any problems whatsoever. Have you, I mean, looked in the mirror and hated yourself for drinking too much the night before? I mean, I think we all have, I definitely have. It's definitely a thing. And then we just shame ourselves and we feel guilty and maybe I should have done this, I should have done that. I have an activity for you to do once we get through this. I really want you to realize that just because you're struggling quitting drinking doesn't mean that you have to hate yourself. You have a support team. There's, you're gonna relapse. Some of us are gonna take longer than others. Not everybody is it gonna be as easy for, but you just can't quit. The shame, the guilt, the hate, it literally stays with us. But just because you didn't succeed doesn't mean that you can't keep trying because you're only gonna hate yourself, shame yourself and guilt yourself more and more if you don't end up letting go of alcohol and seeing the damages that it does because alcohol is just gonna depress you and it's not gonna help your situation. So hate, shame and guilt, they all go hand in hand. We're the only ones that can solve our own problems and not hate ourselves. Who cares if other people hate us? Who cares if other people shame us? Like, shame on you. Well, good riddance. We make mistakes all the time. We have to live with that within ourselves and nobody can help fix us but us. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror and you're hating yourself and you don't know where to start, maybe think of figuring out a way to quit drinking. What does that look like for you? Does that look like getting into a community? Does it look like asking for help? Does it look like going to the doctor and having somebody prescribe you something to help you. I don't know, it all looks different for all of us. And for me, it looked way different. What did I do? I did 75 hard and everybody laughs at me. <laughs> That's stupid. That's hard. Well, no shit, it's hard. I mean, it wasn't made for to be 75 easy. I had somebody critique me on, well, people can do 75 hard and just you know, edit it a little bit. No, then that's not 75 hard. I don't care who you are or what you think. You're not doing 75 hard if you haven't tried, if you haven't actually done the whole thing. You can't change it whatsoever. That's not the name of the program. It's not 75, make it your own way. I'm telling you, I did not love myself. I woke up feeling guilty all the time. I was shameful every time I woke up after drinking too much. And now I don't get have to wake up feeling shameful or guilty or hating myself. How did I act? What did I do? What did I say? What did I text? What did I post? Now I give no, no flying Fs what I post if people are gonna be offended. But before, I mean, think of all the people around you that don't drink. Can you tell me that they are absolutely, utterly miserable with themselves and always hating on themselves? Probably not. Do you ever like constantly see people complaining that they're sick, they're overweight, they wish their life was better, but then they just turn to the bottle? And that's the problem. That's the hatred that we have for ourselves. And unfortunately, unless you let go of alcohol, your life is never gonna change. You can win the lottery. You're gonna be happy for two seconds, just like trying to figure out alcohol. Like, oh, I'm gonna have a drink because it makes me happy. No, it actually makes you completely miserable, which is a whole cycle of hating and shaming ourselves. Nobody, I've said it before, nobody can do it for you. You absolutely have to want it for yourself. Unfortunately, we wish we could force people to quit drinking. We wish we could change their minds about alcohol but it has to click in their own miserable minds because for those of us watching this that were in the same boat I was, I felt like I was going nowhere in life and it was just the same cycle over and over and over. Now I get to wake up with a clear mind, not hating everything around me, but 
I had to be the one to realize that alcohol was causing my issues. My husband couldn't tell me, my grandma couldn't tell me, my parents couldn't tell me, my aunts and uncles couldn't tell me, my cousins, my friends, nobody can tell you what to do. You have to do it for yourself. But what's, what's something in your life that if a kid said something to you, I know a lot of us, if a kid says something to us, it really gets to us. If somebody that loved you so much came up to you and asked you to please quit drinking, I bet you wouldn't. Even though you know that it's affecting your relationship with that person, you are too addicted or prideful or, or egotistical to put the bottle aside and think of what it's doing and you're just gonna keep waking up feeling guilty that you just drank yourself to death. And that's all you're doing is just drinking yourself to death. You, your, your heart's not happy with you, your brain's not happy with you, your liver's not happy with you, your family isn't happy with you, you're not happy with you. But happiness starts with us. It begins deep inside and we have to figure that out. Alcohol is not going to make you happy, not whatsoever. <laughs> And you're not gonna fully enjoy life until you let go of something that has such a horrible, horrible hold on you. I just, it's so sad to see so many people give up their life, give up their children, give up their grandchildren or other family, like just so many things that alcohol takes away from us and people don't want to look at it. They just think that it's a part of them. They, it's not a part of you. It's a horrible habit that you created to numb your feelings. Here's a little story. I was in counseling the other day and I said, I have separation anxiety from my children so bad since I quit drinking. My anxiety shifted. It didn't necessarily go away. I'm not gonna say that I'm completely anxiety free since I quit drinking, but when my kids would go stay somewhere or I didn't have them or I was driving in the car with them, most of the time, I gave them to the babysitter or, you know, family, grandparents or whatever, so I could go have a quote, good time because that's what I did. But now that I'm not drinking, I don't have these numbed emotions anymore. I feel the tug on my heart when my kids aren't with me. I feel so anxious until I get them back with me. It's so weird. I, if you're a parent, I would like you to tell me how you feel about this because it's way different. I'm telling you that the separation anxiety because I'm not numbing my feelings is completely 100% a real thing. All those years that I masked my like sadness, madness, resentment, like all the things, you have to go through those and hating yourself through it doesn't help because alcohol sure the hell doesn't help. But yes, sorry, I keep looking around because there's a lot of bees all over and some random people sometimes. Anyways, so think of what it's doing to your family, to yourself. Who is it keeping away from you? Is it keeping somebody important away from you? If that important person never wanted to talk to you again because you wouldn't quit drinking, is that something that would help you quit drinking? Does it take losing somebody? I mean, you're gonna feel even more shame and hate and guilt if you lose a relationship of somebody that really matters to you because alcohol got in the way. You couldn't let alcohol go away from you. I mean, you wanted to hold too tight onto the bottle instead of holding on to your loved ones. And honestly, that's, that's the problem with alcohol. It takes so much away from us, so much time. You're wasting so much time. If you can't let go of alcohol, your deathbed is going to be too late. And it's such a sad, so many, so many people have died because of alcohol. And I just, I don't, I wish I could just shake people. It just makes me so sad because now that I'm on the other side of it, I know how it feels to be sober. I understand how amazing it feels. And I love more time with my family. I love being able to enjoy things fully, not numbed. Yes, living in the emotions sometimes sucks, but at the same time, that's life. How many of you have never actually picked up a drink and like had a sip of alcohol? I know some of you are gonna laugh at me, but 
one of the most successful people in our country right now. Trump has never touched alcohol, never had a sip because his uncle, or not his uncle, his brother was an alcoholic and told him never to drink alcohol. I hope that I have such an impression on so many of you to say don't drink alcohol or quit drinking and I hope that it really resonates with you and that you can let go of alcohol because you can see successful people don't drink alcohol. That is a fact. And then when you quit drinking, your life es like it levels up. You level up your life. So many people that have reached out to me have thanked me for helping them quit drinking because their businesses are better, their lives are better, their relationships are better. They stopped hating themselves. They started working on themselves. They stopped waking up hungover and guilty for drinking too much, letting too much time pass away. And don't let that be you. Don't let alcohol take away more of your life than it already has. So that activity that I had for you is write down what you do and don't like about yourself and what can you change and then take that and write the next chapter of your life that's what it takes figure out what is really deep-rooted that's causing you to keep drinking and let that be an eye-opener and help your life help you get sober help you realize that alcohol is not helping your life that it's only causing more issues for you unfortunately too many of us I mean I was what 20 years I think of alcohol, but I did not like myself when I would drink. And now I see what it did. And now I see, I see what I didn't like about myself. And now I see what I like about myself. It literally will change your life. If you can just give sobriety a chance, give it more than 30 days, give it more than three days, get past the withdrawals and don't ever go back. If you like my stuff, please like and subscribe and share and let's help get the word out and help more people. Thank you for watching.